Coach on the road, Tony Campagna with the Cubs center fielder. Here's what he had to say. Stay tuned and watch. Uh, welcome back to talk to me with the coach, Mike Reed Maiden, as we're on the road where the Cubs is invading the Sox Stadium today. And I got Tony Campagna. Okay. Get it right. You got it right. All right. How we doing today? I'm doing all right. How are you? All right. We're taking our youngsters behind the scenes to find out what it's like being in the big leagues. Okay. You're the center fielder for the Cubs. I mean, what does it take to play center field for the Cubs? I mean, it's a dream come true, but I mean, you uh, it takes a lot of hard work. I mean, it's something that I've been working for since I was since I was a little kid. I mean, I came up, it's been my dream since I was a little guy, and it's what I've wanted to do. So, I mean, I've, I've worked hard, put a lot of hours in. Okay. You know, I used to coach college ball, and I scouted for five major league teams. I've always told my guys that scouts look for the twos. Billy, hit, run, hit for power, throw, and feel. Now, you're a little guy now. Come on, what, what, what tools did you have? It looked like you got some wheels. Uh, that's my biggest one. I mean, I can run. I can run a little bit. I think I can, I can put, pick them up and put them down as, as good as anybody there is, I think. And, uh, I mean, I've shown that I can hit a little bit, too. So, I mean, that's why that's why you get here. So, what you run in that 60? Uh, my best time in the 60 is a 6-2. Six 6-2, two. Six two, that's pretty fast. That's, that's moving a little bit. You, you need an agent? I can be your agent running like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, what about uh, hit? I mean, you, you got to be a slap hitter, power hitter. What kind of hitter are you? I'm definitely not a power hitter. Okay. I mean, I'm not a guy that's going to drive the ball out of the field. So, I mean, I, w I don't like calling myself a slap hitter, but I guess it's kind of what I am. I kind of I try to slap the ball everywhere on the field, kind of put it anywhere and uh, hit the ball where it's pitched and, and wherever it goes, then run. So what it's like being a Chicago Cub. You know, people come in from all over to see the Cubs play. Yeah, the best the best thing about it, I mean, the greatest fans in the world. I mean, and they're all over the place. Everywhere we go, the Cubs fans travel pretty well. And, uh, and yeah, so you go out on the West Coast, there's Cubs fans there. You go on the East Coast, there's Cubs fans there, too. So it, it's pretty unbelievable. Now, in your journey to the big leagues, I know you didn't have some embarrassing moments. What's one of those embarrassing moments for Tony in the big leagues? In the big leagues. I mean, I've had, I've had some times where... Uh, I like on the field had some embarrassing things, but my thing was I liked wearing my my hat a little bit slanted, and, and Kerry Wood didn't like that. So one day he decided to cut the bill off my hats, and I had to wear it like that for BP. So that's probably the most embarrassing. Well, you know, I had uh, Will Armin a couple weeks ago. He was telling me about some Ryan Dempster stories. <laughs> so I went, come on, let's do what is Ryan Dempster like? Oh, he's he's probably the most funny guy I've ever met. He he has the best Harry Carey uh, impersonation of anyone I've ever seen, I've ever heard. And uh, yeah, he just—he's really good at keeping guys loose, and uh, he never lets it get too tense in there. Uh, you ever had your car jacked up in spring training yet, Abby? I heard about that story. No, I haven't. That hasn't happened to me yet. So. Okay. So when you're in the big leagues and you guys on the road, I mean, what is the family atmosphere like among you guys? I mean, yeah. I mean, you're around each other more than you're around your family. So I mean, we're a real close knit group of guys. I mean, we're gonna have each other's backs no matter what, and. I mean, that's what a team is. So, I mean, yeah, that's how it is. You're a family. You know? uh, you're tired of looking at each other sometimes, too? Yeah, sometimes it can get like that. I mean, all families have a little bickering that goes on every once in a while. So, I mean, that'll happen. But for the most part, we got each other's back all the time. This is every kid's dream of playing in the big leagues. You're in the big leagues. When you got that call for the first time telling you it was going to make it to the big league, what was that feeling like? Oh, it was unbelievable. I wasn't expecting it at all. I was a guy that I didn't even go to spring training last year with the big league team. So... And when they gave me that, when they called me into the office and told me, I mean, yeah, it's just overwhelming almost. You, you almost, it's like a, like a dream. So you, you just kind of hope you never wake up. Did you cry? I didn't, no. Did you pinch yourself? A little bit, yeah. Pinched myself and my dad, I called my dad and I, he didn't believe me. Uh -huh. I had to tell him a few times. You walked around on cloud, cloud nine for a couple of days, huh? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And when you saw your uniform for the first time, what was that feeling like? Oh, seeing it hanging there, and I got to go home and play in my hometown for my first big league game in Cincinnati, Ohio. So, yeah, it was unbelievable seeing it hanging there waiting for me. My first big league hit? Yeah, it was in that game. I got a double down the first baseline, and I was trying my best not to smile when I got the first. So, it didn't work. Hey, you got the ball, of course. I got the ball, yeah. It was funny. Coach, take you youngsters behind the scene with the man for the Cubs, Tony. Hey, thank All you right, very much. Appreciate it. Yeah.